Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2014 Keystone Outback 296 FRS Super Light Triple Slide Fifth Wheel with the Diamond Package. This fifth wheel from Outback is pretty much fully loaded. It does have the full diamond package on it, which is the champagne colored fiberglass skin. And you do have the beautiful front molded painted fiberglass cap with the LED light accent, which I'll show you. And this is a super light. It's a full aluminum frame superstructure with the full walk on steel framed roof. Strongest roof in the industry. I'm going to go ahead and start my video on the inside and finish up the video by showing you the features on the outside of the coach. As I said, this is not an entry level camper. It is a fully enclosed heated underbelly. Keystone Outbacks calling it the Arctic Barrier. And it does have the diamond package. This is a one owner coach. The only reason why the owner is selling it is because he wants to get something smaller. I apologize for the lighting. We're only hooked up to the owner's truck right now. We're in a parking lot. The coach is, uh, the coach owner lives in London, Kentucky, but he agreed to meet me in Simpsonville, Kentucky. So all we're hooked up to is uh, his seven-way pigtail. So again, I do apologize for the lighting. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, this has the full LED light package on it. All your lights are all LED, more efficient and brighter. Okay, give you the idea of the floor plan. I'm going to go ahead and start out on the first slide out here. Uh, this is a triple slide fifth wheel. Uh, the slide out in the bedroom is a, is a super slide. It's about 14 foot long and it's about three foot deep. You do have the freestanding table and chairs. The way Keystone on the Outback line did their, their table is pretty cool. You have more storage. And you do have uh, storage underneath the seats. And the owner has kept the plastic on the seats. All the fabrics, everything inside the camper is, is like the day they purchased it. Uh, all the fabrics, everything is beautiful. Uh, on the diamond package, you do get the uh, theater seating. There are two recliners. Go ahead and show you that. And that is ultra leather. Nice etched glass that they're using on some of the cabinets. This is, I believe, a cherry finish. On all campers, I do like to show the window treatments. Night shades all throughout the coach. Get a better idea of the window treatments. In the rear, you do have the hide a bed sleeper sofa. It is a queen bed that folds out. Easily sleep to adults. And again, it's the ultra leather. 110 plug ins on one side, and you do have the USB port charger for your smart devices right here. Let's see if I can zoom in for you right there. Your charging center with 110. Okay, on your second slide out, the kitchen and the entertainment center slides out. Uh, it's about 10 foot long and it's about three foot deep. Entertainment center is a 32 inch flat screen. You do have a theater, stereo, home theater uh, package on this and this does have the outside speakers. You do have Bluetooth capability. This is CD, DVD capable. And you do have space for SD slot and USB port. You do have the fireplace. It's a space heater also. A 
on your refrigerator in your kitchen you do have the 8 cubic foot refrigerator gas electric with raised wood paneling Do you have the microwave? We're not hooked up to 110. But, uh, a lot of times I'll check to make sure the digital readout works, but uh, of course we're not hooked up to 110, so it's not going to come on. You do have the three burner cooktop. You do have the gas oven. Three burner gas cooktop. On your island here, island kitchen, it is the Corian countertop, solid surface, coring countertop, residential, solid surface, uh, this is part of the diamond package, huge double sink, and you do have the pull-out mowing style sprayer faucet. You do have lots of storage, you do have the full length metal ball bearing drawer guides always point those out a lot of wretched residential feel in this coach and again your LED lights all throughout the coach which definitely is a lot better than your regular pancake lights again lots of storage uh, looks like you do have a I'm gonna make this your pantry you've got huge pantry space Well, you can make this your pantry and uh, the first one your closet for odds and ends. A little hanging hooks there. Lots of storage. And you do have on the diamond package, you do have the fantastic vent fan. You do have the 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit on it. And on your full walk on steel trust roof system you it is crowned so uh, you don't get uh, any standing water up on the roof I'll show that to you when we get outside uh, it's a lot better for water runoff this is a side all hallway floor plan nice accent lighting you have another accent light here which I didn't turn on This is a full walkthrough bathroom. Nice glass enclosed shower with skylight. Do you have foot flush porcelain toilet? It's not the plastic toilet. Nice pocket door for privacy from the master bedroom into the bathroom. This is your third slide out. It's your wardrobe slide. Odds and ends for the bathroom stuff. And then in the bedroom here, get a nice closet. place to put t-shirts pants whatever okay on your bed it is a queen bed it does have the power lift feature it's an ultra plus mattress with the power lift there's a little button down here on the side here if I can show you and you can actually move your bed up and down um, okay we're not hooked up I'm sorry but uh, anyway it's a power lift bed so if you want to read at night you can do that without breaking your neck you do have USB port charging station above your bed here which is a really nice feature you do have closets on each side I do check all campers 
in the front and in the rear all four corners I do check for water damage which is that wrinkling you can get on the inside uh, moisture will pretty much wrinkle up the wallpaper and I do check for that did not find any issues on this coach This coach pretty much has uh, the full entertainment package, and I believe that may be part of the diamond package or a forced option. But this does have, uh, it's about a 22 inch flat screen in the bedroom, and it's wired for uh, cable and satellite in the bedroom. And this is a 50 amp service coach. You do have the one AC in the living room, which is a 15,000 ducted AC unit. If you wanted to get the second one, it is prepped. Uh, it would be a 13,500 BTU AC unit that you can install right here. But it is it is prepped for second AC. And as I said, this coach is full ducted AC, full ducted heat. I'm going to try to show you every feature on this camper. Here's your monitor station, your central command. Uh, basically, it tells you where you are on your battery. I've already told the owner it looks like the battery is showing low, but uh, he's having problems with his seven-way pigtail, so I don't think it was charging when he was, when he was driving down. Here's your freshwater holding tank. He's got a little bit of fluids in there, two-thirds full. Here's your black tank, which is your toilet tank. And he's got, uh, it's, it's empty. And here's your, your gray tank, which is your toilet. Uh, I'm sorry, your shower and your bathroom sink. And then your galley, a gallery, uh, galley, uh, which is your kitchen. And that's your kitchen sink. So, pretty easy to figure out. And you have LP gas. It, it is a six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. You can flip a switch on for LP gas, or you, if you're hooked up to shore power, you can just flip a switch on electric. Half hour later, you're ready to go. There's your water pump. There's your power awning with LED light strip. I'll show that when we get outside. There's your porch light, your ceiling light inside, entry light, your uh, off door uh, side flood light, and your door side flood light. And your triple slide out buttons here. And this is your fantastic vent fan. You can open and close it. Fantastic vent fan is the way to go. They call it a max fan, max six fan. Uh, and this is your thermostat for your furnace and your heat. Light switch for the living room. Go ahead and show you the features on the outside of the trailer. As I said, this is a super light. It's full aluminum frame structure. I'll show that when we open up the compartment here. I'll show you the aluminum framing. This has the strongest roof in the industry. This coach is pretty much built uh, like a Keystone Montana, which is the, the big brother of the Outback. Uh, the Montana is the big brother of any Keystone product. It's their flagship. This coach is pretty much built the exact same way. So it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely beautiful front molded fiberglass cap, as I said, part of the diamond package. I did notice on top, it, it's fading a little bit on the paint. And I might not be able to get it into the video, but I'm extremely detailed when I do my walk around. And there's a little bit of a fade by the marker light. And it's on each side. If you're real picky like I am, uh, you might notice it, <laughs> but uh, if I didn't point it out, you wouldn't even notice it. But, uh, it's a beautiful front-loaded fiberglass cap, easy to clean. You do have the LED light strip to accent the, the, your entranceway into your campground. You do have the, the little mirror. I don't know if, I, if it's showing in the video, but it's a, the backup mirror so you can line up to your pin box. It's really cool. You do have the front power jacks, and on the Outback line, they do offer the stabilizers. It pretty much eliminates any of the wobbling that you can get on uh, fifth wheel. 
beautiful gel coat fiberglass finish. Not just a high gloss, it is a gel coat. All the decals are in excellent condition. They're not curled up or faded. As I said, this does have the entertainment package, so you do have the outside marine style speakers. Sorry, I forgot to flip, flip on uh, the bug light. Uh, but anyway, you have a bug light, and then you have uh, on your awning, which is, I think they're calling this a 15 foot awning, power awning, you do have the light strip. LED light strip. Some of them are going out. Uh, I do point out everything. So the, some of the LED lights are going out. If you wanted to get a new LED light strip for some reason, uh, as I said, if you're real particular, uh, you can get the light strip. For, I think for about 50 bucks, depending on who you purchase it from. This coach does have the 15 foot power awning, and on the diamond package, you do have the metal shroud to cover your awning when the awning's closed up. Uh, it pretty much protects it from ice, snow, rain, UV damage, all that. Awesome feature to have. This is a feature they offer on motorhomes. So uh, I've noticed a lot of the trailer lines, they're offering a diamond package or a platinum package and they are offering this now. So definitely the best way to go. Uh, your awning's gonna last twice as long. On your power awning, you do have the full adjustments. If you want the water to run off on one side, you have the capability, the option of doing that. Really cool. Diamond Package also offers the frameless bus style tinted windows. I think they're 80% tint, UV protectant, all that, all that jazz. Uh, definitely the way to go. Easier to clean, a cleaner look. Show you a cool feature on their doors, exterior doors on this side. You do have little magnets uh, instead of the clips. Got little magnets there and you set it up and you're good to go. I believe the doors are insulated. They feel like they are, but uh, they're slam latch baggage doors. Definitely the way to go. And I'll show you a cool feature when I close the doors. There's your aluminum framing. Your, your compartment area is heated by the radiant heat through your metal aluminum duct work. So as long as you got the furnace on, the heat's gonna radiate from the duct work and it will heat your uh, compartment storage area here. You do have uh, 110 outlets and you do have cable capability out here if you want to set up a TV. There's your slam latch baggage doors. Definitely an awesome way to go. Go ahead and show you your LP tanks. You have two 30 pound LP tanks, one on each side. They are the large LP tanks. Nice 110 plug in for odds and ends, bug light, whatever. You do have the 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Definitely the way to go. And I believe that was part of a diamond package. I'll back up here and show you a wide angle shot of this side of the coach. Nice ladder on the rear to get up to your full walk on steel truss roof system in case you want to do uh, some servicing on your 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit. You do have the spare tire with mount on the back. And of course you do have this manual stabilizer jacks in the rear. The owner did have a hitch receiver installed on the rear. I'm guessing to pull a boat or something. I forgot to ask him, but uh, definitely a nice option to have in case you want to pull something or even I have a bike rack. Beautiful rear frameless tinted window easy to clean. There's your crowned roof I was talking about uh, for water runoff and you do have the extension uh, rain gutter extensions on each side. On the back side here you do have your fresh water uh, holding tank and your city uh, connection for for your water hose all centrally located in one area and you do have 50 amp service with with the uh, marine style plug. You can unplug the 50 amp cord and roll it up and stow it away.
All the tires are in excellent condition. I believe they're uh, nitro filled. I believe most of the manufacturers are doing that now. Okay, here's your furnace. This is your six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Flip the switch on inside a half hour later, you're ready to go. Here's your sewer connection. And you do have uh, one of your gate valves up underneath here, your gray tank valve right here for your uh, kitchen. Let's see if I can show it to you. There it is. And then all your other gate valves are all actually heated, enclosed, and, protect and protected in the storage area. This is your wet bay here in your heated compartment area. On the back side, you do have uh, outside shower, hot and cold running water with disconnect on a uh, spigot. You do have the black tank sewer flush right there. So you don't have to drag a hose inside. Uh, you just hook up a hose here and you can clean out your toilet tank. It's a lot cleaner system. You do have the battery disconnect nice feature to have not all fifth wheels are going to have that and of course you do have your cable uh, plug-ins right here and there's your uh, enclosed and heated uh, gate valves for your gray tank uh, basically your bathroom tank uh, your your bathroom uh, shower and your bathroom sink and your black tank which is of course your toilet tank go ahead and show you the second 30 pound LP tank. This camper is a super light. It weighs just around uh, just over 8,500 pounds and it's about 32 feet 6 inches long. Let's see if I can show you the roof before I finish up this video. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get it but uh, the owner does have a Max Air vent cover in the bathroom area so you can open up a vent and if it's raining you don't have to worry about water coming in so so you pretty much don't need to really buy anything extra for this coach it's ready to go if you want to come and see the camper just call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give us thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up the date on any RVs that are coming for sale by owner in the Louisville area, uh, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thank you.